All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long time since you've seen my face or anything related to Own Boss or giveaways, but over a month. Well, the scenery looks different for a reason because we are now in Florida. Own Boss Supply Co. moved to Florida full time and uh, we're here to stay, baby. Uh, this video is gonna show you everything, every nitty gritty detail, everything about OB16, the truck, the trailer, the machine, what we did, every single piece of equipment and how you can make money with them. So check it out. This is gonna be the most bad giveaway we've ever done ever. And you wanna stick around, you wanna look at this thing. It's I don't even know, it's just insane. So drop a comment, subscribe to us, please like the video and say what's up because uh, I think we deserve it this one. Check it out. the truck in a little bit. We're gonna make you guys wait. Or I guess we can skip the video if you really want to, but I recommend listening to the entire thing because we're gonna talk about the two real money makers here. Uh, that's more transportation, this is the money makers. Come on, Mitch, let's go. This time, it happens to be a 25 foot PJ Gooseneck with mega ramps, and we bought the trailer brand new, and sandblasted and painted the entire thing. Kind of wild, but it's a typical thing Own Boss does nowadays, is get brand new trailers, sandblast and repaint. So we do with this trailer. Um, and then we put uh, 40 rock lights on the trailer, and it shines. Actually, you might be able to see it a little darker now. Let's see. Well, a little bit. A little bit. Not really, but. You would think you'd be able to see it better with 40 rock lights. Literally 40, 36 LED rock lights on this thing. It's freaking bright. Front to back on the trailer. It's really not much to talk about, but I gotta do it. So, it's if you can tell, it's the whole thing's actually been paint matched to the truck. Um, this is a normal wood deck. We usually do rubberized. This time it's wood. We burnt the wood, sanded it, and stained it. It looks amazing. Um, pay match the entire thing. Come to the rear, the wheels have been, uh, the wheels, the tires have been changed to a higher ply, 14 ply, a Turo tire, not the typical um, trailer fat manufacturer stock tires that no one really likes, they're kind of junky and they pick up nails really easily. These do not. These have good sidewalls that are just hard as a rock, so we like them. That's pretty much it for the trailer, besides the fact that we powder coated pay matched the binders to the truck suspension, really cool, laser root beer, very, very sick. And now, the per my personal, fair part, the cream of the crop, the money maker, the thing that will make you a possible millionaire one day if you have multiple of them, or even just one, this gets here. And this is a little bit different than usual because we've never really given away a brand new one. And this is like, not in my book, this is technically a brand new machine. It's not even about a demo hours or like breaking hours. And it's a 2022 John Deere 325G with 105 hours on it. So it's kind of brand new. It's kind of like an $85,000 machine. We threw a 10 to $12,000 paint job on and then bought a brand new giant bucket for it. It's kind of like a $100,000 machine. It is. <laughs> Freaking wild. A um, lot, lot, lot did on this machine. A lot done. Lot did. I can't even talk. I can't even talk, Mitch. I can't even talk. Because, like, grass, this is a goal. It's been a gold mine for a long time, okay? To get a brand new machine, tear it apart, paint match it to a badass truck and trailer, and then give it away. And we're doing it right now. So for me, I'm very excited, if you guys can't tell. So let's get through it and uh, talk about exactly everything we did to this machine. Kind of dumb. But kind of cool. This inner over here is gloss black. The top window is tinted. Come down the side of the machine. This is powder coated laser root beer to match the suspension. Kind of cool to put powder coated parts on a skid steer. I think it's cool. Um, the pistons are all painted gloss black. Handle gloss black. Where like your hinges are gloss black. Um, we didn't do the horn. I was going to do the horn gloss black, but that was kind of stupid. We decided to do that. Um, the little panel that holds up your auxiliary uh, hydraulics, gloss black, of course. Bucket, gloss black. And then we'll move to the side of the machine. Ready, Mitch? Right. We tried going into the details of this one. We left the cage and the, basically the whole side of the machine paint matched. And uh, we didn't really paint, like usually we paint the cage black and the arms are black and stuff like that, like, you know, two-tone it, but this time we didn't. Um, stupid, but the bolts that hold the handle on inside the windshield, or inside the window, are paint matched, which is kind of cool. Um, come down, custom deer logos. And then we paint matched or painted this gloss black down here with a track strap. And then basically uh, moved the rear. That's pretty much all we did on the side. So for the uh, rear of the machine, all right? It's kind of gets, gets a little bit intricate, but not really crazy. Back window tinted. This arm, this arm, paint matched. The exhaust pipe is gloss black, paint matched, black lettering, gloss black. Didn't touch the, the light, the reverse lights on the stock. Gloss black uh, back door. Gloss black interlay down here, gloss black down there, and then if 
Thank you, man. Pretty huh? Huh. He's gonna out of me. All right, so we're in the 2022 John Deere 325G. I definitely turned it on, it's a little hot in here. Um, it's got a straight cold start. 105.4 hours out of the skid steer itself. It is literally brand new in here. The cool thing about John Deere is you can change your intensity on your controls um, through ISO up and down, left and right, the forward movement speed, all the sensitivity in the stick you can change. Um, the snappiness of the bucket, you know, ride control, how sensitive it is, and it's pretty bad. So you have your quick detaches up here, auxiliary up and on, on and off, your triggers over here. Um, John Deere makes a, a huge, I mean, not gonna lie, John Deere is my favorite machine. So, well, we're almost out of fuel, that's not a good idea. But uh, past that, I mean, what a just a beautiful setup, man. You got your radio right here, and uh, it's just a basic, brand new freaking John Deere. Uh, there's a light, I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. But you can really get an idea of it, man. It's very clean. Like, it's a very, very clean machine. There's not a scratch anywhere. So, brand new seat, brand new everything. Awesome machine. Um, yeah, that's it. Put your key code in there, everything. Pay match all that. And then that's basically it, man. It's gloss black and paint match up the whole entire machine. And we followed the same exact look we had on the trailer, on the machine, to the truck. So now it's time to go to the truck. All right, guys, so this is how I'm going to break it down for you. We're going to go around the entire truck, talk about the paintwork, and then go around the whole truck and talk about the suspension. And that's pretty much it for this truck, all right? Top to bottom on the front end. This, the roof and the lighting and everything is, is factory. Factory hood, it's wrapped in nose tech, midnight metallic, gold, badass. The headlights are Morimoto headlights, normal Morimoto, it's pretty sweet. Coming down the side, we have Paymatch two-tone black and um, Paymatch logos up top. The mirrors, just the uh, flipped up, like the flip side of the mirrors, just gloss black. We left the textured plastic textured because it's just a lot of mess to be made. I don't deal with that. Obviously, gloss black wheels. Paymatch, sorry, gloss black door handles. Usually they're chrome, so we got gloss black for them. Pretty sweet. Come to the back. We actually took the tail lights out, and instead of just hitting them like a normal person would, we took them to our body shop, sanded them down mixed up a black with a clear coat and sprayed them over so they have a really clean shiny look to them so these are actually sprayed black taillights not wrapped kind of cool coming on the side lighting just a wrapped um bed bed light kind of thing so come on the side same there and then that's really it for the lighting and then black badges so that's the paintwork and the lighting on the truck now let's talk about suspension the big one all right all right so now for the suspension the suspension it's kind of cool we did a partnership with a cool company i don't know mitch you ever heard of them called custom offsets uh, Custom Boss has actually partnered up with Own Boss for OB16 and sponsored the lift kit and the wheels and tires for this. Really cool. Love working with them. I grew up watching them. Their videos are amazing. Bankers are cool, dude. Everyone there is awesome. Uh, really cool people. Anyways, they sponsored us with these KG1s and the, the BDS suspension. And uh, I'm going to run through the whole thing now. So, <clears throat> the suspension wise, we have a four inch radius arm lift kit. We powder coated it, a laser root beer. Bad. <laughs> the front end dual stabilizer kit is uh, also BDS with the Fox shocks. So all the way around the truck, there are six Fox shocks, pretty sweet. And then we go down to the KG1 Forge wheels. They're 24 by eight and a quarter wide, gloss black. Uh, let me find the exact name real quick, Mitch. Hold on, I don't remember the exact name. Trident D KG1 wheels. That's the name of them, so you guys are curious. Trident D wheels. Uh, coming down to the rear, we actually put traction bars on this. They're the BDS recoil traction bars. Um, a little powder coated glove, laser root beer, just like everything else in the whole suspension. And then we have factory airbags in the rear as well to clean the entire setup and make sure it hauls amazingly. Here is the 2022 interior of a Laramie 3500 Dually. Absolutely a unit. Do not mind the mess we have in here. It's been a crazy journey down to Florida in a moving sequence. It was, it's, been, it's been a little crazy. Um, we put quite a few miles on this truck. This truck has, does have 60,000 miles on it. Um, the unit is a bad unit though. Uh, no issues with that at all. And uh, let's go through the inter infotainment real quick. This is like the really coolest part about this truck. Um, you have your fan speeds and your, your temperatures on the side, your hazard lights, traction control, and then your defrost, front, rear defrost, AC, recirculation button, you turn off the screen, you can turn back on, <clears throat> and then go through the screen a little bit. So you have your homepage, you can move your widgets around however you want, you can adjust your screen, and it can be really cool, you can like change it however you want. If you connect your phone, you can... Uh, you can have wireless CarPlay or connect to CarPlay with the cord, really cool. You have heated seats, you have AC seats, you have a uh, heated steering wheel. You have all your adjustments, obviously, in the touchscreen for everything, really cool. Um, this is where it shows you your wireless CarPlay or everything like that. You have inboard navigation, and you have your vehicle. This is the coolest part, in my opinion. So you have lowering bed mode. Basically, it's lowering your bags for you when you get out or want to you know, take something out of the bed. You can lower it down. You have 
power side step adjustment. You can have your mirror dim. And let's move to the mirror. The mirror's really cool. The mirror is actually a camera. So if you turn it off, that's the real mirror. Turn it back on. There it is. That is a camera. So, um, bad unit. <laughs> it's, the same thing. it's so sick, man. Um, and you have all your apps you can download and do a bunch of crazy stuff on. So you have your DF gauge, your fuel gauge, your uh, RPM, speedo, and then you have your whole um, cluster. You can change everything in there. You look at it. You can make commercial settings. You can do a bunch of stuff. So um, it's a crew cab. Nice back seat. Nice front seats. Nice adjustment to the headrest. It's a very nice truck, man. Uh, I really do like it a lot. The sound system is very awesome as well. So let's do an overview real quick. A quick summary for everything. So we have a 2022 3500 new that's been pay matched, powder coated, and lifted with brand new Ridge Grapplers and 24s on it. Looks absolutely insane. Then we have a brand new trailer that's been sandblasted, <laughs> painted, rock lighted out. Everything looks amazing. And then we have a brand new John Deere 325G that's been paint matched, torn apart, and looks absolutely insane. And the best part is the truck, the trailer machine can all be yours, plus $30,000 of cash, or what was it, Mitch? $125,000 cash out option. I don't know what that'll say, boys. Shout out to Custom Offsets. Thank you so much for helping us out and partnering with us. If you guys want to take a Mobile 16, you can. That's the best part about our giveaways is that we actually give them away and we actually give away things that you could use and make money with to be your own boss. That's why we're called Omaha Supply Co. You want to get after it? You got to get entered. You got to win it. You got to make some money, man. So if you want to do that, hit that link in the description, omahasupplyco.com. Shout out to Custom Offsets again for sponsoring us. Thank you so much. And uh, comment, like, subscribe, say what's up. Leave a comment. Let, me, let us know what you guys think of the bronze because the bronze was kind of a sketchy move on our end, but we think it turned out really good. So thank you, boys, for watching. Peace out, and I'm going to bed. I'm tired.